Hey guys, what's up? So this isn't a video I was going to post today, but I completely forgot that Time Spiral Remastered was coming out. So, I bought a box and we got the cool Lotus Bloom uh, promo card. It's in Chinese, but we don't get the English ones over here. So maybe if anyone from Wizards of the Coast watches this, they can send some English ones over for us English collectors because there's quite a lot of us over here now. Okay, so I'm quite excited about opening this. Um, I don't know too much about it. I haven't seen anything on YouTube yet about this. Um, all I know is that Slivers are back and also they played it in the Command Zone game nights with Cassius Marsh. Um, so I know we have all of the Mythics, the, uh, the Rares, and we have Time Shifted Rares. Okay, so that's what I'm looking forward to the most. Hopefully we can get some of them. There's Slivers are back, so Slivers are cool. I think everyone's going to be happy about that. And oh, we've got a Time Shifted card. Uh, consuming Aberration. Time Bender. And a spider token. Okay, so let me put these over here. And we can come back to the ones later, the ones that are cool. To find out. We don't know the prices of these yet. But anyway, they're going to fl fluctuate. They're going to go all over. Search for tomorrow. Search your life for a basic land card. Put it on the battlefield. Uh, it's quite expensive for some green ramp. Mana tithe. Counter spell. Oh, I like the white counter spells. It's unexpected. No one expects white to counter. Let's see. Might sliver. All sliver creatures get plus two, plus two. Let's see. That's a new one. Face devourer. Pende Vanilda. Walk the Aeons. Hedron Archive. Another. Is there a time shifted card in each one of these? So I do actually like these Hedron Archives. I do play them in my uh, sliver deck. Or my Eldrazi deck. Just because you get to add two mana. And there's nothing that beats a bit of ramping with colourless Eldrazi's. Okay, so, this, so I think all of these are like new slivers, aren't they? Home in sliver. This is each sliver in each player's turn. In each player's hand has sliver cycling. Oh, that's cool. So it affects the ones in your hand. Bound in silence. Oh, so Amru Scouts. Seal of, Seal of Primordium. Okay, so, so far, I quite like these cards. Um, I'm quite looking forward to seeing what kind of uh, things in. Oh, which one's this? Bedlam Reveler. So this spell costs one less to cast in each instant sorcery card in your graveyard. When Bedlam Reveler enters the battlefield, discard your hand, then draw three cards. Oh, that's pretty cool. I do like to draw some cards. So we got, I'm pretty sure we're getting one of these in every um, pack, which I think is awesome. I thought it was going to be like a mythic rare, like maybe one or maybe like two or three a box. And we wouldn't know what we had. I'm going to try and go through this quite quick, just so the video is not too long. Sudden shock, stone cloaker. Stone cloaker. Okay, when Stone Cloaker enters the battlefield, return a type creature you control to its owner's hand. When he enters the battlefield, exile target card from a graveyard. Oh no! Okay, Cloud Key, Blood Elf, or Blood Braid Elf. Okay, you see, some of them they just look very cool, so we'll put our time shifted cards in a separate pile just so we can look over them again. So, Instead of this video, I was going to do, um, I think it was my first Pokemon opening, but Pokemon opening will come out tomorrow, whereas this one is coming out today. Um, yeah, so in my Pokemon opening, if you do play the Pokemon game, then we're going to, oh, Molten Rain, destroy target land. If that land was non-basic, Molten Rain deals two damage to the land's controller. Okay, so I do like a good... Destroy land card. Return to dust. Excellent. Good card. 
Okay, so yeah, so my Pokemon one, if you do play the Pokemon online game, I don't, so I've put all the code cards I've got in my video. Um, so I've got quite a lot of code cards for all of my Pokemon videos that I've recorded at the moment. So there's a lot going to be coming out. Um, I think I might actually have more Pokemon videos than I do Magic the Gathering videos now. Just because I went on a big buy. So, ooh, Magus, Magus of the Future. Well, what is this one? Okay, so I do like the look of the Merfolk cards. I don't play them, but they do look cool. And, oh, is this a foil time-shifted card? That's cool. Okay, so I like the little star they've got. They had it on the Lotus Bloom as well. So, yeah, so that's a very cool one. Happy we've got a foil time-shifted card. The time-shifted cards came back in um, Mystery Boost as well. I noticed I got one of those. It was maybe Celestial Dawn, was it? So, yeah, so when I opened my Mystery Boosters, I got some cool time-shift cards there. Right. So we noticed um, some of them, they've got, like, Damnation in this one as well. I know I said I didn't read up much on it, but this. Some things you can't avoid. Ethereal armor. Hey, the artwork on these is looking pretty cool as well. So we can, uh, you know, have a look at these cards. Grape shot. Grape shot deals one damage to any target. Sacramite mirror. Two headed sliver. Two headed sliver. What? Okay, all sliver creatures have menace. Thrill of the hunt. Sangra phage. Utopia Val, Dreamscape Artist, Pallid My Mycoderm, Trespasser Ilvec, Limp Sliver. What does this one do? All Sliver creatures have Absorb 1. Absorb. If a, sliver, if a source would deal damage to a Sliver, present one of that damage. Oh. So, you know, this might be a good one to start getting some Teleria West. And a Dreadhorde Arcanist. Ooh. Oh, okay, so yeah, this might be a good one to start Sliver Deck on because there's all these new Sliver cards and they seem pretty cool so far. Um, yeah, so I'm assuming they have like some old Sliver cards as well. Uh, Erratic Mutation, Grape Shot again. Think twice, think twice, guys. Mind Stab, Kavu Primark, Uberg Siphon Mage, Luta Ilkor, Errant Doomsayers, Rift Bolt. Amro Seekers, Might of the Corosa. Okay, that looks a mean card. Knight of the Holy Nimbus, Brian Elemental, Tarmogoyf. <gasps> Whoa, yes, we got a Tarmogoyf. I do like Tarmogoyf. Um, I already have one from my Uma boxes, but I will quite happily take another one. Look at this artwork. Oh, so yeah, I do like Tarmogoyf. Awesome pull. Okay, and we got Alicia, who smiles at death. Look at her, you can see her smile. I assume death's coming for her, she's just smiling. Maybe that's um, a bit like Arya from Game of Thrones. Not today. Not today. Okay, a bone splitter sliver. I think that was already a sliver before, wasn't it? Hey, reali oh, reality acid. Empty with the Warrens. Free black. <laughs> feebleness. Oh, feebleness. It sounds like the worst card. Okay, but you enchant another creature. Search for tomorrow. Assassinate. Strangling stoof. Strangling soot, sorry. Judge unworthy. Sinew sliver. Penumbra spider. Salt crusted state. Step. Conflag conflagrate. Harmonize. Ah, nether traitor. And Vandal Blast. Okay, so we've got some pretty cool time-shifted cards here. There's quite a lot of them, so it's pretty cool seeing them all with the old border. Um, the foil ones with the little star in, so it's pretty cool. <gasps> Think twice again. Needle Spider. Needle. Needle Speaks. Needle Peak Spider. <laughs> Erratic Mutation. Sit Sitinal Wood Readers. Grave Scrabbler. Edge of Autumn, Echo Slick, Bound in Silence, Amru Scout, Thick Skinned Goblin, Lanoir Mentor, Shivan Met Meteor, Summoner's Pact, 
and Farseek. <gasps> Farseek, I do like Farseek. Shame it's not a foil one though. Search your library for Plains, Island, Swamp, Mountain card and put it under the battlefield tapped. Then shuffle your library. That's a pretty cool card. And then we got Senge Nosferatu. Okay, so I'm liking these cards. I'm liking the artwork. I'm liking all of the new cards. I'm liking that slivers are back. I'm wondering how many times we're going to get Think Twice at the front of our pack though. Uh, I think this must be like the third or fourth one we've got. And the second time it's been at the front of our pack. So I don't know, maybe that's a thing. Maybe they always put Think Twice at the pack. Maybe you need to think twice before. Needlework, Needle Peak Spider, was that? Oh, okay, Strength in Numbers is a different one. Reflex Sliver. Ooh, all Slivers have Haste. That's a good one. Oh, especially for green. Corpulent Corpse. Gem Hide Sliver. All Slivers had add one mana of any color. Oh, okay, so there's another one. Um, tap and add your creatures. Avon Rift Watcher. Prismatic Lens. Temporal Isolation. Tromp the Domains. Urza's Factory. Oh, I like the Urza's Lands coming back into it. Okay, they look really cool as well. And Core Dirge. Kerr Keep. And. Oh, Read the Bones. Scry 2, then draw 2 cards. You lose 2 life. Excellent. Good job. <laughs> good job. What? Okay, good job, Darren, for pulling a black card that you can actually use in your decks. Well, the ones I play with my friends because. We don't play by the rules. We just have a mishmash of any deck. And it's a bit of a free-for-all. Riddle of lighting, Lightning. Deep Cavern Imp. Thalid Shell Dweller. Pallid Microdome. Ooh, psychotic episode. Target player reveals their hand. And the top card of their library. You choose a card revealed this way. That player puts the chosen card on the bottom of their library. Okay, that's pretty cool. Limp Sliver. Knight of Cersei. <laughs> muck drub what is a muck drub it's a creature beast when he enters the battlefield change the target of target spell that targets only single creep only a single creature to muck drub oh so i can use him as cannon fodder time bender some morph cards we've got morphs back in this one and gara condor and oh disdainful stroke and we've got a foil fathom seer okay so we've looked at a lot of the cards. So we're going to go a bit faster now because we've still got a long way to go. And this video is going quite long. So let's have a look. We'll just go straight through now. Past the commons. Let's still look at some uncommons. So Celestial Crusader. Skittering Monstrosity. Firewake Sliver. Ooh. And Slaughter Pact. And, ooh, Sorcerer's Spyglass. That looks very cool. Uh, there's a lot of detail on these cards. Really am enjoying the uh, time-shifted cards. Uh, haven't seen many Mythics, though. We've got the Tarmogoyf, which I'm never unhappy about. But, you know, there could always be more Mythics. I would be happier if I saw a few more. So we've got Haze of Rage. Calciderm. Spellburst and Aeon Chronicler and a Beast Whisperer. Shh, he's whispering. Oh, whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. That's good for green drawing cards. Sunlance. It's weird. You never see a uh, draw a card for green unless it's Kadama's Reach or something looking for lands. But. Let's see what else we can find. Let's we'll skip through to our uncommons. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of these double cards. I like having the two options, but it's just the way they're laid out. Yabimaya Dryad. A keen Sense. And, ooh, Kavak the Merciless. This was one of the commanders in the command zone. Evolutionary Leap. Sacrifice a creature. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. Put that card into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay, so let's see. I'm not worrying about going from pile to pile, so I don't know how many packs I've got left unless I count, but I'm having too much fun opening at the moment. Maybe we'll count in a little bit. The uncommons. Oh, Dark Heart Sliver. All slivers have sacrificed this permanent. You gain three life. 
Harmonics liver. Oh, we've seen harmonics liver before. Sudden shock, split second. And a Sarah Avenger. Oh, you can't cast this spell during your first, second, or third turn of the game. Oh, well, it's only got two mana. Perfect one. Okay, and a Gurmag Angler. What is that? <laughs> this is some big fish with this, I don't know, lure on its face. Okay, and then we've got a Boom Burst. Let's open this one. So, at the moment we're just going from one pile to the next, hoping we can find that second mythic of the day. Second mythic of the box. I don't know how many mythics we should get. I mean, I'm assuming it's like a normal box, so maybe three or four would be good. But we'll see. Riptide Pilferer and Avenza Shape Shaper Savant. And a ooh, Stinkweed Imp. That sounds like a awesome card. Everyone's best friend, the Stinkweed Eat Imp. Oh, so here we are, I've got this massive pile of rubbish next to me. I'll start throwing it on the floor. Here you go. Let's find out what we have. Stormfront Riders. Rift Marked Knight. Henched Fiend of Ukor. And oh, there we go, Hypergenesis. I don't know, I've never seen Hypergenesis before. Starting with you, each player may put an artifact, creature, enchantment, or land card from their hand onto the battlefield. Repeat this process until no one puts a card on the battlefield. Oh, so that's pretty cool. Just shame it helps everyone out, not just me. Ancient Den. Oh, nice artifact land. And a dead and gone. Dead and gone. Okay, it's full of hope. Let's see. Um, so we've maybe got about a third of the box left, so... Got two mythics now, so it's looking a bit better for us. Obviously, we could always have more. Let's find out. Are there any good ones? Fury Sliver. All Sliver Creeps have Double Strike. Wow! What a card. Spore Sower Thalid. Safi Eric's Daughter. Oh, I like this card. This was, um... Oh, this was a little while ago. Someone said something about her other card. It was... She was in the flavor text. Okay, and Vanquisher's Banner. Vanquishers banner ends the battlefield. Choose a creature type. Creatures you control of that chosen type get plus one plus one. Okay, that's a good card. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, maybe about fifteen packs left, so we're under halfway. Let's find out. We need to have two mythics, so we're hoping maybe we'll get another two. That'll be pretty cool. We've got faceless devourer. Harmonic Sliver again, and Sedge Sliver, and a Banishing Light. Okay, so, what's that? Jaya Ballard, Task Mage. Ooh, we've got a foiled Jaya Ballard there. Hey, okay, what we'll do is um, look for the different uh, Mythics. I don't know much about the Mythics, um, as when I watched the command zone game no one had a mythic commander which seems like maybe there aren't very good ones or maybe they're just too good maybe they're just going to beef up everyone's decks um so we've got barrel chief of compliance instance and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast whenever a spell or ability you control counters a spell you may draw a card if you do discard a card hey so yeah so maybe the commanders that are in this are just too powerful and they didn't want to use them because it would ruin the game although if you've watched it i feel like cassius kind of dominated this game <laughs> you know he had um like right from the start or oh, clockwork hydra bonded fetch haze of rage and oh extirpate extirpate oh the gray merchant of asphodel it was recently just reprinted, so we've got another Grey Merchant of Asphodel. And... Let's knock the camera down there. Let's go through, find out what uncommons we have. Harmonize. Return to Dust again. Lost 
Oromancer and oh, a Pulmonic Sliver. All Sliver creatures have flying. All Slivers have, if this permanent would be put in the graveyard, you may put it on top of its own library instead. Ah, so your Sliver creatures are just never going to die because he'll always go straight to the top of your graveyard. Relentless Rats. Okay, so it looks like this is definitely the time to build a Sliver deck. Maybe even a five-color Sliver deck because you've even got the Slivers that can tap for any color mana. And that should be crazy, taking off. Arc Blade. Arc Blade deals two damage to any target. Exile Arc Blade with three time counters. Imperious or Sudden Death. And, ooh, Vesuva. I do like a nice mythic land. You have Vesuva enter the battlefield as a copy of any land on the battlefield. Okay, and a Slimefoot Stowaway. Okay, so this is what we've got left. We've got three, six, nine. 11 packs left We've got 11 packs left we've had some pretty good pulls i feel like the mythics have gone quite well um let's just find out i don't know what these time shifted cards are like i don't know if they're worth any money um some of them they look like they're pretty good to be using in decks we'll find out if we can get another mythic as well itch high arcanist and, ooh, ponder. Look at the top three cards of your library and then put them back in any order. You may shuffle your library and draw a card. I like cards like this. They go well in my blue deck, which <laughs> has maybe 120 cards in it at the moment, purely because it's one of those mess around decks just where I have a ton of play extra lands on your turn, play um, or draw cards. And I just pull everything out. Oh, Gauntlet of Power. As Gauntlet of Power enters the battlefield, choose a color. Creatures of the chosen color get plus one, plus one. Whenever a basic land is tapped for mana of the chosen color, its controller adds an additional one mana of that color. And, ooh. We have a Trigon Predator. That looks cool. I like the artwork. Flying above the city lights. Okay, so... So our fourth mythic now we're not doing too bad now i thought it was looking like a quite a bleak box at the start but now we're on the bottom packs and i always find my mythics tend to be in the bottom packs so maybe we might even get one more we might get a five mythic box <gasps> dare i say it can we get a six mythic box it might have old crosser and rudder air to killed and repeal okay so <laughs> so here we go we're down to our last nine packs now. Hope for one more mythic. That would be pretty cool. Um, guys, Anthem, Storm Entity, Salt Crusted Step, and Angel of Salvation, Treasure Cruise. Treasure Cruise? Delve each time. Each card you have in the graveyard. Okay, draw three cards. Oh, it's quite a cool one. Treasure Cruise. Hey, you see, I wasn't around for the last time, so a lot of these time-shifted cards are new to me, which I'm very much enjoying looking at. The old artwork, the old border style, and on the, the foils, I do really like the old star they've got there as well. They don't do that anymore. Rift Mark Knight, Imperial Sword. Oh! Oh, yeah, so we've got a Celestial Crusader and Flagstones of Trocair. And... Hollow one, hollow one. So, what's that? Haze of rage. I well, said fist of rage at the moment. And uh, kid box on. So, we've got da -da -da -da. Shivan Meteor, Joda's Adventure, Avenger, Whip Spine Drake, and ooh, Dralnu Lich, Lich Lord. And Ajani's Pride Mate. Oh, I do like an Ajani's Pride Mate. So we can do, 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 do. go to our last five. Let's find out which one shall we choose? Which one will give us the most luck? Okay, for the last five, we're going to really speed it up here. We're going to go through, straight through just to the rares. Maganda's Petroglyphs. What's that? Sylvan Scrying. Search your library for land. Reveal it, put in your hand. And we've got Alanoir Elves. 
Okay, so last four now. Uh, again, just got to buy 25 minutes. It's not too bad, actually. I thought it'd be longer. Maybe it's because I'm just skipping through everything now. Greater Garagdon. Gargadon. Mortify. Destroy target enchantment or creature. And a goblin token. Three packs left. We've had four mythics, so I think we've had a pretty good box. Uh, maybe we can get a fifth. Let's try our luck. See what we can do. And then, don't forget to watch my Pokemon video that is coming out tomorrow. Um, oh, sudden spoiling. Or maybe that's spoiling our box now. <laughs> Ramunap Ruins. Add colorless mana. Pay one life. Add a red mana. And mountain. So... Here we go, two more packs. One of them has a mythic. I'm just not sure which one. I'm guessing one of them has a mythic anyway. Let's go straight through. Molten, molten slag heap. And... Oh, there it is. Sliver Legion. What? Oh my god, I did not know the Sliver Legion was in here. Oh man. Okay, so we didn't know it, but that's the mythic that I wanted. All sliver creatures get plus one, plus one for each other sliver on the battlefield. I think I am definitely going to make a multicolored sliver deck now. Whoa! Okay, so that's got to be that's got to be one of the best cards in, hasn't it? In the box, when Thragtos enters the battlefield, you gain five life. Oh man! Like I knew, well I didn't know. I thought one of these must have a mythic in there, and it just so happens to be Sliver Legion. Okay. So now we're pumped up for the last pack. Imagine if we pulled that one first, then the rest of the box would have just gone downhill. So snap back, battering sliver, evolution charm, blight speaker, green seeker, sunlance, joyra's time bug, dreamscape, artist, pallid microderm, avon mind sensor, rebuff the wicked, thick skinned goblin, hive stone, goblin engineer. Oh, sorry, that was our rare hive stone. And Goblin Engineer. You see, we just skip right past the uh, rare on that one because it's no Sliver Legion. So we've got Sliver Legion and a Tamagoyf. I am super happy with this box. Um, so yeah, please subscribe, like, and watch my Pokemon video tomorrow. Especially if you play the game because there's going to be lots of code cards coming out.